Hi everyone, this is a video on how to remove error codes from your Samsung refrigerator, as well as how to put the machine into diagnostic mode and forced defrost mode, and what the error codes also mean. It's really simple to do and it's a powerful system to help you deal with the refrigerator issues that these Samsungs have, so let's go ahead and get started to get the error codes pretty quickly. Right now, the refrigerator is flashing the 14E error code and none of the buttons I press work. The fridge is running and the ice dispenser seemingly works, but I'm locked out from literally doing anything else. To fix this, we need to press the top left and top right buttons simultaneously and then hold them for approximately 8 seconds. The code will continue to display until the machine is put into diagnostic mode. You'll know that it goes into this diagnostic mode because you will hear a beep. The unit will run the internal processes, then about 30 seconds later it will restore full functionality so you can press buttons again unless there is a much greater issue with your machine. The refrigerator's functionality is now fully restored and it's back to normal. Now, if there is a major issue with the refrigerator and it cannot clear the codes, it will instead continue to display the error codes. In a little bit in the video, we'll go over these codes and what part of the refrigerator they relate to and how you can likely fix them. Next, we are going to show you how to test the compressor as well as the defroster system in the fridge. This is a powerful tool that will let you help troubleshoot cooling related issues on this type of Samsung refrigerator. You are going to use a similar cadence as the diagnostic mode, but instead this time you will press and hold the upper left and middle right buttons for approximately 8 seconds. Once you have done this, you'll hear an audible beep from the refrigerator telling you that you have entered the forced mode. From here, you can press any button to cycle through the various forced mode options available. The refrigerator has four different modes on it that you can force the system to operate with. There will be a constant beeping noise that is running to tell you that you are in a forced service mode, so make sure that you don't leave it in this state permanently as it will not exit out of the mode on its own. You have to select it manually. To activate any of the modes, simply cycle through to the command you want and leave it there and the mode will begin to run almost immediately. This system is extremely valuable if you need to test the compressor or the defrosting system to verify what is working and what is not. In the case of this video, I wanted to test the new Supco heater I added to the refrigerator cabinet that fixes a major problem on this kind of refrigerator. Now, in the process of running and checking the defrost heater, the control panel cycled back to the regular options on the panel while continuing to beep. The beeps meant that I could select options on the panel such as the temperature settings, but the defrost heater was still running in the refrigerator cabinet and the noise was a warning. Obviously this needs turned off at some point and the only way to get back into the forced mode was to re-enter the same code again to get back into the forced system and then I had to go through and deactivate it entirely. By pressing and holding the buttons to get back to the forced mode, it returned to what mode was currently running, which was the forced defrost mode on the refrigerator. To quit the forced mode entirely and end the cycles and return the refrigerator to its normal operating mode, you will select the screen option that is totally blank after the FD code or FD mode and wait for about 8 seconds. The beeping will stop and the refrigerator will return to its normal mode of operations. Your Samsung refrigerator should now be back to normal operations and you can use it however you like going forward. Here is a list of potential error codes that could pop up on your Samsung refrigerator either before or during the diagnostic process. Each set of codes generally has a theme on what could be wrong regarding the refrigerator, freezer, or ice maker, or another part of the refrigerator altogether. Many of these components can be tested from the circuit board on the refrigerator with a multimeter to see if they are out of tolerance, revealing if the component is bad or maybe if the component is just accidentally unplugged. In addition, there are codes that could be displayed on the front door interface, but also the computer board on the back of the refrigerator, which could display additional codes through a series of red flashes. And this video has those codes as well. The final code that we are dealing with in this video is the OF code. This mode shuts off the compressor while the interface retains functionality. Even if you unplug the refrigerator and plug it back in, it will still maintain this code. To remove the code, which is the demo mode on the fridge, press and hold the upper left and middle left buttons approximately for 8 seconds to clear this code. 
And there you go. The demo mode is now off and the refrigerator is back to normal. I hope that this video has helped explain a few different things that you can do with your Samsung refrigerator, troubleshoot issues, fix errors, understand the codes, or put your system into a forced mode to help understand something else. If you have any questions, feel free to like, subscribe, and comment, and I will try to respond to the message as quickly as I can.